Hello everyone, welcome to a very special video because yesterday I posted a video on Wii emulation on the Odin handheld and I was pretty happy with it although there were some comments in the video saying that they'd seen better Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 performance and I did recall seeing some footage of it. I don't think it was on the Odin but uh, I remember seeing some Super Mario Galaxy footage so that got me a little bit intrigued to try and find a solution uh, for this and see if I could get better performance on the Odin. So I did manage to find better performance and I'm going to show you that in this video. Though if you watched yesterday's video, I have already unlisted that one and I have edited the Super Mario Galaxy section in that video. And then uh, I have also uploaded a brand new video. Uh, but you can see the original if you go to the description here below and I've also got the updated version in the description below as well. Alright, so let's do the fix now and as you can see here this is actually the default settings performance that I'm showing you on screen right now. And you can see that it is hovering around 45 FPS, sometimes it will go down to about 35 FPS and also there's audio crackling here as well which makes it a little bit uh, annoying to play. And that is why I rated the performance as bad in the original video. And you can see it's, it's very slow. It's not even just like when you're walking around those sections uh, where it slows you down. But uh, generally just walking around here is very slow. So what you have to do is you have to go into the settings. And then you want to turn on skip EFB access from CPU. And you also want to turn on immediately present XFB. And if you do that, the performance is going to be much improved. And you can see that the frame rate has already jumped up to about 55 FPS. Now, the thing is that you can probably even run the PAL version of this game and lock it to 50 FPS. So I think that would be a way for you to get even better, more stable performance. Now one unfortunate side effect of all of this is that your infrared pointer doesn't work after you turn on skip EFB access from CPU on. So if you turn that off then the infrared pointer works. Now I don't know if there's another fix to this. Like I said uh, there is just no way that I can know all of these fixes. Uh, but if you actually know uh, if you can stop the slowdown uh, and also have the infrared pointer working, then please comment down below. I don't know if I will do another video on this, but I'll definitely pin your comments to this video. So this fix works for both Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. All you have to do is skip EFB access from CPU and immediately present XFB. Now I think the only issue really is that sometimes you're going to need that infrared pointer, particularly in Super Mario Galaxy 2 where you get Yoshi and you're going to have to eat objects and you need the infrared pointer to do that. So it can be a little bit annoying once you start getting Yoshi, then you're going to have to turn that skip EFB access from CPU off all the time. And then you're going to encounter that slowdown. Okay, so I'm not going to talk through the rest of the video. I'll let it play out and then you can see the performance of Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 for yourself. Just use the chapters function below if you want to see Galaxy 2. Now I did want to close out by saying that doing emulation videos are quite tricky and quite problematic in some cases because if you misrepresent a game uh, then you're going to have to redo that video. So that takes a lot of extra time and effort to go and redo the video. I am really grateful to everybody who comments in the videos telling me how to improve it. That's exactly what I want. 
And also if you do that in the Discord as well, thank you to everybody who've been putting in those comments. The only thing is that uh, if I'm doing these videos for like 20 games, uh, maybe 100 games for each system, there is simply no way that I can know about 100 games uh, of information. The simple fact of the matter is that sometimes you don't know what you don't know. Like, uh, I had no idea that you could fix Super Mario Galaxy. And there are some cases where you just don't know that there is a fix out there. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, why don't you Google that? And many times I do. Like, for Mario Kart Wii, I was able to fix the black box in the left-hand corner by Googling it. Now for Super Mario Galaxy, I did actually try those two settings, but I tried them separately and not together, and that might have been why it didn't work as well. Now personally speaking, I don't particularly like to keep updating all of my videos, and so uh, I know that is kind of also testing the patience of my audience a little bit, and for that I have to say that uh, I'm still really new at emulation in general, so uh, this isn't something that I've been doing for 20 years. Uh, this is something that I've really gone into in the last year or so. So it is what it is. These are part of the growing pains of learning about emulation. And I do thank all of you for your patience, especially when I am taking a video down and putting another one back up. And then perhaps your comment is gone. I apologize for all of that. Uh, and then hopefully uh, in five years, 10 years time, uh, we'll have much more improved videos. But anyway, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. I've said my piece and I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.